so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Oh! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, and look at what I'm doing! Whoa! I'm roasting a marshmallow. Yum! I'm gonna make a s'more! Yum! <laughs> yeah, tonight, I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California! <laughs> I had a very healthy dinner. Now, I get to make some dessert! <laughs> yep, and if you ever get to roast marshmallows, you definitely should be with a grown-up, okay? Yeah, because fires are dangerous. But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roaring snore. Yeah, it's a campground at this safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look, the marshmallow is done. This is gonna be so yummy. Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Woo! <laughs> I am so excited to go to bed. Ooh, campsite 22. <laughs> Ooh, and good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent. It looks so cozy. Hmm, should we go inside and check it out? Yeah. <laughs> look, Flippy bedtime stories. Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right. I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, I can sleep. <laughs> All right. Whoa, what a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Flippy bedtime stories. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <gasps> others, <gasps> others small. <laughs> Some, some went squawk. <laughs> some went squawk. <laughs> some, <gasps> some, some went. Whoa. Check it out, an animal. Wow. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What do you Whippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey, and does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. 
<laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, cool. Another animal. Whoa. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nalani. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Blippi. you. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right. Instead, it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. Wow. Can you tell, though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing, though, that Quilma's, uh, her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body, and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey, and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool. Mm -hmm. So another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And it looks like his nose is really long. It is. So he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, so uh -huh. that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? So instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft, leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, yeah. I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look, looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Ooh, and look at these animals. Hello, they look very soft. Hard, soft. <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They are actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly, and what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do, is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws and then they find the bugs and they use their tongue and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues and wow. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Yeah, so these animals' tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of are? those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey! 
You're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws. Or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things. And they also use it for climbing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches, maybe? Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees. Oh. And they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Oh, that was really cool learning about them. Hey, what are their names? This is Cora, and Cora is the, the mom of this baby, and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita. And oh. you're right, this is our tortoise. Oh. And he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh, do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So oh. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's mm -hmm. really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Yeah. Wow, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so can he, like, leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell. It's a part of his body. Okay. So what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts, like his head, towards his shell. He'll push his neck in. Um, and he'll push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of a lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so, from there, they just keep growing and growing. So, Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Oh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Sita might be 50 pounds someday. Yeah, I think. And 50 years old. Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Check it out, look at this bird. Oh, hello. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America and his name is Lightning. Wow, South America. Whoa, and he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome, yeah, he's blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see him. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow, though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parents. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him? He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut and we can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. 
yeah, nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa, okay, okay. Good job. You want to try it again after those yummy snacks? That was really good. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go. Target. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was really cool. Wow. And how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old. And Lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa. That is really old. Whoa. <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue, and then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Whew. It's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. It's such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow, and it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line. And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and you'll feel like we're a bird. Ha-ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right, am I ready? felt like I was a bird. I'm actually kind of getting really tired. Wow. Oh, that was great. Oh, I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds. So cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow. Hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay. All right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we oh, when we go to bed when we go to bed they they um when we go to bed whoa 
<laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Lauren. Oh, nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh! That's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, exactly. so we can see the animals. Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah. And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow. Wow. Look at all the flamingos. Whoa. Whoa, now they're all running. Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun. Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa. And they're, why do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aww. <laughs> That's so silly. A rhino remind you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh yeah, that's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa, oh yeah. Oh, look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow, <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow, that is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow, that is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> Hey, look, Flippy. Uh huh. There's a giraffe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. He's <laughs> kind of tired. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. 
And it's so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. A rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood. <laughs> To grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. Hmm. So open wide. <gasps> so open wide. <sighs> hope you're. So open wide. I hope you're. I hope you're hungry. Whoa! Oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Wow, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Blippi. Okay. Do you want to make this first bottle for the spring box? Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put it in the bottle. Oh, here we go. 150 in spring box. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. Awesome. So I'm going to put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is, and it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All right. Let's just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> that, that's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle we're going to make from scratch right wow. now. All right. How do we do it? So what you're going to do is you're going to put some some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters or two liter. Okay. So looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. <laughs> so excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we have the water. We're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here it's we go. A big animal. All right, there we go. And then, okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. All get right. A really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now, do we put it in the bottle? Yes. You might need to use this, though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. All right. All right. Here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. It's wow. a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a Springbok. This oh. is a Bontibok. Oh, hey, This spring is a bok. Nile Lechwe. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A Springbok, a Monty Way? A, a, a Bontibok. Oh, a Bontibok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our oldest, oldest Springbok. She is um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hot. Yeah, we did such a great job with those bottles. Oh, Whoa. let me hey. get the right bottle here. 
Okay. Whoa. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has horns on its head. Whoa. Is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female Bontebuck has horns just like the males. But in the... Oh, wow. And do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, hey. Now, really, when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The Bontebuck loves the trees, too. <laughs> OK. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all have is in common is they're from Africa. Oh, they're from Different Africa. Parts. And can they like run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring a bit in the air, and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. <laughs> and we're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. But didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa! So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is going to drink from this big bottle. That's going to be our friend Arthur. Do you want to give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. OK. And he's going to come running. That's a Good silly and loud. sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, Good I know boy. what kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? <laughs> he must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. OK. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa, <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Whoa! Wow! What a great morning this is! <laughs> wow! And what a great night that was. I slept so great! Yeah! Now I'm very well rested. Whoa! And wasn't that fun at the roar and snore? Yeah! We learned so much about animals! <laughs> I love animals. Yeah! Big animals, small animals. Yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah, while I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again. Wow, that sounds like an animal for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm. Sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again. Whoa. OK, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah, we're hearing a lion. 
<laughs> you want to act like a lion with me? <laughs> oh, there it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah! All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. It'll make you wanna shout